guys, I am Alexander and welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you are subscribing, please remember to click on that bell icon for more upcoming videos. Why are we all at home and cannot go outside? Because our government said not to go outside because of this pandemic. I take the time out to look into a little chart that I have for a very long time. It's called a Ming Yang MPPT charge control. The inventor didn't take the time out to capitalize on the many comments that the YouTube outburst community have put on it. And so I take my time out to go inside some little depth that I have the time on my hands to let it run for a whole day and document what it done for the whole day. And so in this video, I'm going to go through it little step by step and some more details that have been left out. And it's so with no further ado, when you buy one of these, you get it in this little cheap cotton box. And also I use a manual double-sided. This use a manual have no use a discharge controller. Right. With that out of the way, when the solar charge controller go to sleep at night and it wake up back in the morning, it doesn't come on because you did not set the setting for it to come. All of that setting is inside setting. So you just need to go to setting and find that information. With that said, the next point that I want to move to is the discharge control different from all other charge control that we as solar people or solar guru who know things about solar and this charge control doesn't power up by a battery it power up directly from the sun so once the sun come out in the morning this charge control started to do its thing so you definitely want to connect the battery first and this charge control because power needs somewhere to go. So if you put on the solar part, there's no way for that power to go. And it will lick the charge control. Menying MPT charge control. Now I take it upon myself to try and see. I've been watching this from 8 o'clock when the sun come out. I live in the Caribbean. So we have like 10 to 11 daylight of sun and today is a perfect sunlight let me show you outside see it's perfect sunlight perfect day for solar anybody who have solar system this is a perfect day those youtubers if you're still watching high pitch fun is from the inverter and I could have continued with that high pitch, so I scrapped that and vice over. So the fan in that inverter is very loud and annoying. That said, let's move on. As I said, I was watching this from 8 o'clock this morning. And as you can see in the bottom, the screen where it said 0043844, that is the time that this inverter wake up in the morning. So we have gone 438 minutes of sunlight. At the top top of the inverter we say 25.70. That is the volt from your solar that's coming in. Follow down behind that 24.9. It is your battery. That's what's in your battery now. And we said humps. That is the hump that coming in from outside. And where it said what, which is W, 178, 76, that is the amount of what coming from the panel at this very moment. It will peak or it will dissipate. And so the reason why I'm watching this and to explain to you. Right, and so I'm going to explain all of these digits on the display or on this dashboard. At the top it's at 25.7 volts, and that 25.7 volt is coming directly from my solar. 
panel. Currently, I have three solar panel, 275 watts, 38.8 volts. They are in parallel and series. This charge control cannot go over 72 volts, as you can see at the top. So, in order for me to get close to that or somewhere in that region, I have them in series and parallel. Now, let's continue. You better come back to the series and parallel. 24 volt is my battery. So, my battery at the moment is at 24 volt. It will dip or it increase. Depend on the sun and what coming out of the panel. Then we move to the humps. Now hump here, as I tell you before, I have series and parallel the panel and the roof. So now I am looking at almost 17 hump. If one panel is 8.9, 8.6 hump from one panel and three of them so two is in series that vote increase or that amp stays the one that is in parallel increase or decrease so hence we have 280 17 so that's the amount of amps coming in 17 amps and with the two panel at 38 we have 61 volt so out of all of that 61 and that 17 amp at this very moment at four hours in the morning this charge control breaking it down right down and only giving me 177 watt 177 watt I repeat that and by right you're supposed to have 750 watts I am not getting all of that because the sun is not very powerful at this point in the morning. And so I am watching to see where it's going to cut off. The reason why I want to see what is going to cut off is because definitely I know it's a 10 amp charge controller as you can see at the top. Between 72, 72, 10 amps, 72 volt. 10 amps. At the moment I said I have 17 amps coming in from the panel. However, I'm not getting all of 17. So at this moment, I want to see if this have on any protection of over voltage and if it will chip out or you can also see the fluctuation of the voltage drop and decrease and increase and the reason for that decrease and increase is because when there is a bunch of cloud that pass over it affect this charge controller okay we're back so after five six hours water charging you can still see voltage from the panel is still at 25 Batch vote is still at 24 and we are pushed up to 8.2 amps at 198 watts. And we are back. As you can see at the immediate bottom 10.04. That is the hour of time that discharge control is being up. So you can check it yourself from 8 in the morning till 5 in the evening. That's 10 hours. So the sun is winding down. Once the sun is going down, everything is jumping like this. As you can see in the top there, the blue corner, my battery is fully charged. That's what it said. At 24.1 volts, the humps is dropping off to 2 hump. And the watt from the panel is dropping to 71. So I figure more charge control doesn't need any more to go in the battery so it's dropping off everything. But I still have a hour of 
good daylight outside that could continue to charge a battery. But I guess, I guess there are some potential would have been in this charge control if the manufacturer would have made it for a specific battery type and not just put it on the market and say it's an MPT charge control because it's not an MPT charge control and with that said I am not going to give it a pass score I'm going to throw it in a rubbish pan sorry guys that's just it if you like the video please like share and subscribe I'm out to love each other as our lover and neighbors Love thy brother as our lover and sisters. Today the world is breaking down and we want to make the world a better place. By loving each other, this is the time for us to reach out to our neighbor and our friends.